been a challenge for a certain cancer treatment to catch on, but it's gaining traction as more and more doctors and facilities turn to hyperthermia to boost radiation and chemotherapies. The challenge isn't and hasn't been easy to overcome. Then there's those who fail their treatment. And what options do they have? Gamma West Cancer Services is the only facility in Utah that uses the high-tech hyperthermia machines made right here in the valley. Yet the concept of hyperthermia has been around a very long time. Hyperthermia has been treating disease since the time of uh, before Christ. Using brachytherapy and Dr. John heat. Hayes at Gamma West was trained in the medical treatment at the University of Utah. But the art of heating tumors fizzled. Why? He says to start it takes a lot of skill. Many um, institutions just gave up because it was hard to do. Numerous long probes are inserted in the body and tumor, heated to precisely 110 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour. Experts say in addition, doctors aren't traditionally cross-trained like people overseas. Rather, they're educated in specific disciplines. Professor Peter Woost from Berlin says while it's not standard treatment in the U.S., hyperthermia is in Germany when it comes to certain cancers such as soft tissue sarcoma. This is a very uh, accepted treatment approach in Germany. In America, hyperthermia studies decades ago were not controlled, but that's been a different story in Europe. Of the last century, 88 about, and so we continued our research since that time until now. Experts say we need updated quality controlled studies in the U.S. Another hurdle? Technology had to catch up. And most important, patients and physicians need to know about this other option and that it can make radiation and chemo more effective. Basically, it doubles the effectiveness of radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Drew Wilkins understood that when he was diagnosed with a type of throat cancer because he works for Pyrexar. I pushed hyperthermia, I said, I work for a hyperthermia company. But he even received pushback when requesting hyperthermia treatment. He wondered if cost reimbursement had something to do with it. I put a needle in my arm and hang a bag next to me, and for four hours I would sit there, and the cost for that was $9,600. So if you, if you do the math, you can see there's a really good reason why we're all sitting there having poison dripped in our veins. But Drew and many doctors say chemotherapy is absolutely necessary for certain cases such as blood cancers. Drew, now cancer-free, wonders why hyperthermia isn't more common in the valley. The best machine in the world to do hyperthermia is made right here in Salt Lake City and it's sold throughout the year. Huntsman Cancer Institute is a renowned cancer and research facility in the Salt Lake Valley. Its executive medical director released this statement. Huntsman is committed to offering our patients state-of-the-art evidence-based cancer treatment. We have recently established a program for hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemoperfusion and continue to follow the evidence for other types of hyperthermia treatment. We will be ready to consider these when the evidence is stronger. Facing cancer taught Drew a big lesson. You have to be your own advocate. Uh, you have to be in charge of your life because it's not a good decision or a bad decision. It, it, this is your life. So how can you not be a believer in hyperthermia? Um, I think that you know, any time that we can provide hope to patients and increase their quality of life and give them longevity on the earth and time with their families, I'm all for that. Now, if you missed any of our five-part series or would like to watch the whole series in its entirety, plus full interviews, log on to abc4.com. And I will tell you, the people we talked to along with this series collectively say they hope that they seek out options that they might not even know about. Yeah. And go home, talk to your family to find out what the best next action would be. That's what I kept hearing. You know, the common theme is, you know, there's hope out there, even yeah. though you may not you see it at the moment. You might not be aware of, but yeah. do a little research, find out that maybe no or this option is the end, but there could be something else. Yeah, yeah. great series.